Yo, yo, yo. What do you know? I'm gonna talk about something old and talk about something new today. Here in my right hand, I have a prior MFR 168 wide snowboard. This is an absolutely cool old ride. Picked it up in Whistler back in 2009. It was a demo board and I absolutely love this board. It, uh, it's been out west twice, big mountains. It's been uh, serving me real well out here in Ontario on the hard pack. We don't get much powder here, but uh, this board here, it's not a powder board, it's not a split tail or anything like that, but it's handcrafted in Whistler by prior manufacturing, prior snow, prior skis and snowboards. This here in my left hand is a brand new prior MFR 168 wide, same board. That board's circa 2007, 2008 maybe. This board's 2019, 2020, brand new. It's got a really cool top sheet on it. Both boards got cool top sheets on it. You, got, you, you must admit that uh, this height of design on this board here. It's very, very cool. Ripping it up out here in Ontario. No one's got them. I, I, I've, I've seen one one board with the same top sheet. This brand new uh, prior has a very cool top sheet. Chris Cups, shout out. He's an artist in Whistler. Does some very cool work. And I really, really dig this top sheet on this board. Sorry about the camera angle, it's not doing it any justice. But this is a very cool board. And if you have a quick look right there, you can see the eagle and how it's inverted. It's a sea to sky board. And I actually uh, messaged Chris and he told me uh, his interpretation of it. Uh, and it uh, involves a Sea to Sky theme and Whistler and what's going on out there. He's a very cool guy and I, uh, I like riding this board. You don't see this, I don't see any of these. And, and I like that. Um, in terms of technical stuff, I have no idea what's the difference between this board here 2007 compared to this board here in terms of uh, brand being brand new what I do know is they're both weapons absolute weapons this board here has got a bit of a bigger shovel on it the new board they chopped it off a little bit tapered it down a little bit and uh, made it pretty badass now I'm not a tech guy I, I don't know uh, in, in terms of composition, in terms of what they made it with. What I do know is that uh, this board feels like it's glued to my feet. I've got a decent set of bindings on it now. It's like driving a Ferrari with a pair of uh, Chevrolet binding, bindings on it with Chevrolet brakes. So I put a decent pair of K2 bindings on it. I've been riding it the last couple of weeks with the K2s on it. I really, really like it. Um, the point of this is, I don't know the technical differences. I do know that in the last uh, 12 years, technology in, in, in snowboards has changed tremendously. Um, this was a weapon, still is, still is. I put it on Kijiji, I was gonna sell it, and uh, I can't do it. This board was at the Olympics with me. Not, I, I wasn't in the Olympics, but I was at the Olympics while I was going on. And uh, I love it, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it. And if I ever get out west again, I'll bring both in my quiver and you never know what'll happen. But uh, the technology in this board right here, uh, 12 years later prior, prior has done a great job. I'm sure uh, most ski manufacturers and snowboard manufacturers have uh, made boards and their equipment. It's all, uh, it's all advanced, the technology is, is advanced. And uh, all I can say is if you got the bread to uh, upgrade your equipment, you're able to do it and uh, make it happen for yourself. I am so glad I did. I don't know if I'm gonna get any more snowboards, but I'll tell you what, 
was well worth it. New versus old, they're both beautiful boards and uh, if you get a chance again, if you get a chance to upgrade your stuff, do it. I'm really glad I did. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Thank you.